Number three, praising God is more about the future than the past. Those who understand the power of praise, they praise God not because of what has happened. They praise God because of what they want to happen. Please understand the difference. Praising God is about the future, not the past. Because if you are looking at the past and they just sacked you from your office, you will not want to praise God. If you are looking at the past and you don't have money to pay school fees, you may not want to praise God. But if you are focusing on the future, that there is a God in heaven that can take care of you, you will praise him. Paul and Silas praised God. Not because of the prison they were in, but because they know there is a God in heaven that can set them free. Do you understand? Praising God is about the future, not the past. So if you are going through a crisis and somebody is asking you, you are still praising God, tell them I am praising him, not because of what I have gone through, but because of what I expect from the Lord. A good example is Job. Job chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. Job 2, verse 9 to 10, if you can put it on the screen. Job lost everything anyone can, can ever lose. He was reduced to nothing. He lost his business. He lost his property. He lost his, his, his farm. He lost everything. And then he lost his health. The Bible said Job sat down and his body was filled with sore. It became so bad, the wife of Job said to him, verse 9, you can see on the screen, this man, you still retain your integrity. With everything that you have lost, your business has collapsed. All the houses you ever built in your life, every one of them has collapsed. All your children are dead. All, not some, all. Your children are dead. You are still praising God? The wife said to Job, curse God and die. That, that was the advice the wife of Job gave Job because she was looking at the past. Job answered and said, why do you speak like a foolish person? The God we serve is a God of seasons, times and seasons. If you are a, a real mature Christian, when you are going through difficulty, ask God to show you the benefit of that difficulty. Let me pray a dangerous prayer for you. Where there is a bigger thing for you, where there is a bigger thing waiting for you, the grace will allow the doors of the present to close. May God give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. The grace to praise him, even when it seems there is no reason to praise God, receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.